as you can see it's coming along really good uh, I want to tell you one thing here you don't want to have all your seams lined up in the same place so when you're cutting the wood and it's imperfect wood too so there's a lot of things you need to do like put screws in every once in a while just to hold the wood back but it's got a look of being rustic and you can leave it just like this or what I think I'm going to do is put a wash on this and do it kind of like that or I might do it as we as I showed you in the previous video on how to actually paint it and make it look old and distressed but if you can look down the side of it here you can see that it really looks rustic I've got to go back in and put some nails in to hold it back in in places but you can kind of see what we're going for and it's all free it's all free wood and I think it looks really awesome it looks a hundred years old on there you can see the difference in what we started out with this is really bad but this part right here is going to look good when it goes all the way up as you can see we didn't have a lot of wood left over this is scraps here that's not bad from what we started with and if you've seen some of my previous videos you know that uh, I usually throw this in the fireplace <laughs> okay, <laughs> second frame. <laughs> I wanted to show you the grooves in this wood. You can see the ridges in here. This is the next morning putting up here. I wanted to show you that when you're dealing with boards like this, sometimes they're not all the same size. So in, in this case, we're going to have to move it up like this. And we're going to have a little crack here. That's okay, because that's the kind of look I wanted to achieve anyway. Sometimes the first board you put up is always the hardest. And don't be afraid if you put up a few boards to start it all over again. That's what I did in this uh, instance here. I started and I had to take them down because they didn't look straight to me. But uh, as you can see, it's, it's coming along really well. As you recall, this was up there when we first started. It's a porch post that's cut in half, but it's got the, uh, the old wood look. And this is really an old one. So you can see, if we didn't paint this, how this would look on here. I've been actually collecting architectural salvage pieces since I was a kid. And I've got enough to go around, but uh, that's what it would look like if we didn't do any painting or anything. We just left it like that, which we might do. Hey, we got the sheds done. This one turned out right here with natural wood on it. We're going to leave it like that. And this one's got the new paint job on there, the side trim on it, and some lights. So we're ready for another project. So until then, this is Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> second frame. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> what? <laughs> second. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs>